as nails. Cold as ice. Got a problem you can't fix? Call Johnny Ice PR. flavor, a social disease, that new rap act on EMI, I can't want to rap myself, give me the blues any day. Speaking of which, there were two boys and such waiting outside my pad. Once it's happenstance, and twice might be coincidence, but in this trade you can't afford to stick around and find out. This whole thing was beginning to smell of more than Chanel number no. 5, was beginning to smell of a setup. Well, Mrs. Landau, I have three things to report on your blackmailer. And what would they be, Mr. Rice? Firstly, he likes a schoolgirl. Secondly, he's dead. I see. And what would the third thing be? He ain't no blackmailer's asshole. There's no need to be so crude, Mr. Rice. I don't know. I always considered murder to be pretty crude. Come on, Mrs. Landau. I think it's time you came clean with me. Would you care for a drink, Mr. Rice? Great idea, and I think you could do with one too. It might help loosen your tongue up a bit. I'll see if our bar stocks something suitably down market for you. Thanks, babe. You're a doll. I had her on the defensive, but I gotta admit, that dame had as many moves as a rattlesnake. And I bet she could be just as deadly when she wanted to. I was starting to feel a little like Maybe me and Carlotta were meant for each other. Maybe there was a little more to this than met the eye. It seemed to me that we could maybe spend some time together after this was all sorted out. But I don't know. The eyes, he just doesn't seem to get that lucky. What exactly are you doing, Mr. Rice? Uh, nothing, lady. Just a bit peckish. I mean with the case. The case? I purchase your services for a rather simple task. I pay you generously and you turn up at my home accusing me of untoward behavior. Your employer? First of all, lady, no one buys the ice. He can only be rented. Secondly, with the ice, what you get is what you get. And that includes integrity as well as good looks. Now, I'm perfectly happy to terminate our business relationship right here and now. Unless you come clean with me. I won't even charge you penalty rates for when I skip my lunch or even overtime when I head down to the precinct and let them know exactly what it is. I'm sorry, John. I should have been honest with you from the start. Yeah, you should have. And I prefer Johnny. Those photographs aren't of my sister. They're of me. What a surprise. That little fact doesn't solve my problem, though. Obviously, Ortega was up to something. They made it worth someone's while. I want to see him dead. I don't know who killed him, honestly. Well, why don't you start by telling me what you do know? You know who my husband is, otherwise you wouldn't have tracked me down here. I am a PI, babe. He's currently involved in a deal with a South American consortium to build a chain of tourist hotels along the banks of the Amazon River. But an environmental group has been trying to stop the project from the start, protesting, petitioning, creating bad publicity. I would assume a thing like that wouldn't stop a man like your husband. Well, it didn't. But they infiltrated Roxas Industries and tried to sabotage the project by putting a virus into the central computer system. A virus? Tell me more. I was 
wasn't exactly what you'd call up on this newfangled computer shit. So I figured my next best move was to pay Hal Yukino a little visit. Hal was a hacker on the edge of the Everglades west of Fort Lauderdale. He owed me a favor or two. Something about a computerized white slavery ring involving vacationing college girls he got himself mixed up in. Which I saved his ass on. If anyone knew computers, it was Hal. That's no virus, man. That's voodoo. Voodoo? That's right. There's a spirit in the main frame. Legba. I'd know that bastard anywhere. shooter and a street talker. That technical computer gibberish don't mean much to me, but I got the general gist. According to Hal, Legba was some ancient Colombian voodoo spirit that dated back to the Aztecs. These days it's wild away its time haunting computer systems. So what the hell did Ortega have to do with it? The plot was getting about as thick as the humidity and as crooked as Carlotta's lies. There was something strange in the air. And all I knew was one thing. I weren't gonna find no answers in Miami. It was time to have a flight to Columbia. Hopefully, it wouldn't be on a one-way ticket. In our next episode... Comprende de English? Trouble in the Jungle puts Johnny in a hot spot. Sacrifice? And face to face with a cartel king. I am Zeke the Gabalice. Subscribe now to LGM for more Johnny Ice.